Hey, Dumpster Busters, what's up? It's Joe. And Sean. Here we are. And uh, we've been talking about this for a quite a while. Uh, since Ghostbusters Afterlife was announced, uh, if you get go back on those older episodes, I think maybe even from the beginning of the second season? I'm, uh, yeah, it feels like it's been longer, but we just you know got through that 86 years of 2020. Yeah. So that might be part of it, but it, yeah. yeah. we've been You've had this for a while. Yeah, we've had this for a while. We're going to talk about that in a second. But I just wanted to establish the history of this of this uh, 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 taste testing that we're gonna do today because we yeah. we, we talked about it. We're gonna do some other fun stuff too uh, for our Ghostbusters 2 watch along uh, that we talked about as well over the, over the years. But um, but yeah, Ghostbusters 2016 hits the streets and uh, they. We, what did we get that year? We got Twinkies, Ghostbusters Twinkies. Those green boys. Those green boys. Uh, I think we even fried up a couple of those. I don't did remember. Did you have them with I us? I don't think I had a fried. I definitely had one plain, and I don't remember loving it, but I definitely remember eating them. Oh, it tasted that much better because it was Ghostbusters, baby. <laughs> you know it. You know it. Uh, and, of course, they released Ecto Cooler. Now, when they did the Ecto Cooler, I'm sure all, you all remember, they had it in the cans. Yeah. Um, oh, and my did, God. That you could only get at the movie theater. And I had my wife run around... <laughs> Uh, and go, go to, like, the movie theater and get them, like, while I was at work because she was working from home at the time. And, uh, she, she ran out and got me a bunch of cans. A bunch? Uh, you want to elaborate on that? Well, she got a bunch of cans. Now, then, we weren't sure if they were going to come out in these juice boxes, right? So, then we find out you can get the Ecto Cooler in the, in the juice boxes again, you know? So, <laughs> so we were looking all over the place, and, uh... She ended up, we, we found one pack, and I was like, we need more than that, because we got to stock up, right? Like, it's only out for a limited amount of time, and you couldn't find it anywhere. Uh, so she found it, I think it was in a shop, in our shop, right, uh, in Tom's River, when we were living in Tom's River in New Jersey. Yes. And um, she bought, like, how many of these? I just distinctly remember at the time, you had so much of this and <laughs> so many of the cans I think feel like I was going to your house for like months and still there was like uh, way more than I could ever drink available. To Dude, me. you went home with like two of these. Yeah, I gave some, yeah. I gave some to our buddy Chris Barr, who we do talks from the dark yes. side with. Uh, we had it for. It was such a great celebratory thing. Now again, we've never actually seen the the, the 2016 Ghostbusters, which we're going to be doing a commentary track yes. for on that Patreon, five or ten other tiers. Yes. However, um, the best thing to come out of that for us that year was the return of Ecto Cooler. So we, like we said, bought a bunch, drank it until we were sick of it, which never happened. <laughs> yeah, it was just more like, okay, we drank enough, we should probably keep some of this for something. Save it, and then we saved it for Halloween that year. Yes, I remember um, that. And we drank it for a long time. Um... Because I can think back, I don't know if you were going to get into this, but you yeah. made your own Ecto Cooler at one point. I don't know if oh, that predated this it pre or... It predated the, the return of this. Because I remember one summer I came over, you're like, you want some Ecto Cooler? I was yeah. like, what? Uh, and you came out with this big fucking glass <laughs> jar of this green liquid. I was like, okay, yeah, I, yeah. I can't remember which who it was. It was, it was like... Uh, you know how the Ghostbusters have factions, like the fans, they have like groups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Ghostbusters Chicago or Ghostbusters New Jersey, whatever, and they have like the number, like, uh, like, uh. Firehouse 18 or whatever. Yeah, or, like the Star Wars, uh. uh yeah, yeah, Troop 18 or 118 or whatever. Uh, why is that name escaping me? Anyway, yeah, it, it's like the groups, you know, and they, they get together and they do that stuff. But so, one of them had made it, um, and I followed that recipe. And it was very specific with like a very specific, uh, it wasn't Tang, it was like some other, like, mm. it was, or it wasn't Kool-Aid, it was like Flavorade, it was the Tangerine one, it was a whole thing, but it it's came good. out really good. Really good, especially with a little vodka in there. Very close. A little Crystal Head vodka in there. <laughs> Absolutely, right? yep. Uh -huh. There you go, Dan. So anyway, <laughs> um, I want to talk a little, before we get into this, because okay. y'all know we're going to drink this, okay? That's the yeah. point of the video, that's the, that's the big uh, coup de gras. However... I, we wanted to talk a little bit about our first experience with Ecto Cooler and like and like the, some of the fond memories that we had of it and you know growing up a little bit. Um, now, I saw real Ghostbusters, the real Ghostbusters cartoon first before I saw either of the movies. Um, I wasn't even born when the first one came out, and I was two when Ghostbusters two came out. Um, so. I only really watched a lot of real Ghostbusters, and then as I got a little bit older, then it was Ghostbusters the movies, because my, my folks watched, watched them and had them, so that's, you know, it was a whole thing. Case in point, the popularity was still huge oh, in yeah. the early 90s and even into the later 90s, and we got, like, extreme Ghostbusters and stuff like that. But Ecto Cooler was around 
for a Jesus, while. for a oh long God. time. Uh, when did it go out of production? About the same time banana milk did. Was it? <laughs> Nesquik's what? banana milk. I don't know. Don't quote me on this. I'm not an ecto cooler expert by nah, any means. Yeah, yeah. Uh, go, go ask Dinosaur Dracula. I'm sure he knows. Um, what, what was it? I want to say it was like 97, 96 I feel or like 97. It was mid 90s. That sounds about right. Because I, like, I definitely remember drinking it in elementary school. Yeah, it was the. Yeah, well, I'm gonna get to that. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, it was definitely the 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 end of the 90s or like the late 90s for sure. Yeah, I mean that's when you started getting into extreme Ghostbusters territory. Yeah. Like you know the reruns were definitely of the real Ghostbusters, and then the you know Slimer, Slimer and the real, and the real Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Yeah. Uh, were airing when we were kids. Mm -hmm. I mean, just to go off of what you were saying a minute yeah. ago, I definitely saw the movie first. Oh, you did. But Maybe was, I did. It was, I don't the, remember. it was the Disney cut, though, so it's all the cursings that it out, oh. which, you know, for a kid's probably a little better, you know. My parents had some some good ideas. Is that like the TV edit? Yeah, TV edit oh, okay, that was gotcha, on Disney gotcha. all the time, and my dad just had the Betamax of it. Oh, there you go. And, you know, they cut out the scene when Ray gets, you know, has that little uh, in interaction with the ghost in the bed. Uh, I mean, don't we all wish we had that interaction? <laughs> At some point in my life, <laughs> uh, but yeah. I'll take that haunted bed, please. Yeah, yeah. So I definitely remember watching the movie first in that capacity, and then much later in, in high school, seeing the full version. I'm like, holy cow! Oh, how really? did I not see all these scenes? Oh, we were. Oh, I'm but sorry, then, I'm but sorry, then I got into the show. I had yeah. the show on on VHS. Yeah. We were recorded off the Saturday morning cartoons, along with like. I feel like it aired for a while because it was like going into like you had Ace Ventura and the Mask and the show was and still kind of happening. Still on, yeah. From what I recall, I could be you know mixing my memories up. But. Yeah, I think it's like I think it's four or five seasons and like and like it goes to the end again. It turns into Slimer and the Real Ghostbusters. Dave Coulier, the whole thing. We're gonna talk about it on those Real Ghostbusters uh, minisodes that we're gonna do. By the yes. way, um, but to your point about uh, the seeing the version, that version of it, that cut version, that yeah. TV version. I remember so vividly watching this. T I still have the tapes, which I which I've shown. Actually, they're right back behind us, right there, right in between the middle of us. Um, oh, but I didn't. I haven't. I didn't see the the widescreen version oh, until they yeah. put out that double uh, DVD set. The green uh, set. Man, I still have it. Like it's all foil and stuff. It's still a great set with the booklet and everything. Yeah, that's the one I keep bringing up. If you've heard on the uh, yeah. main show and on the watch along for Ghostbusters one. Yeah. Uh, it's that double set one and two. With the commentary track for the go, also the menu is amazing on oh, that. Yeah. If, if, if track it down if you haven't found it. I don't know if they carried all that off to the Blu-ray or the 4K version, but there's a really good commentary track. I'll I'll say it again. Ivan Reitman, Harold Ramis, mm -hmm. might be one other guy on there. Okay, uh, just breaking down the effects, breaking down how they made the movie. But it, anyway, it's crazy. Do you own the Do you own them on Blu-ray yet? I don't. I have the first one, which I kind of stole from my parents. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know how I don't have it on Blu-ray. Yeah, um, yeah. But it looks I, good. It looks really good. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely got to pick that up. But anyway, it was a, the first time I saw it was when I was a teenager for that DVD set of like the whole thing. It was like watching the movie for the first time all over again. Uh, again, I think we even mentioned like in that Ghostbusters watch along that we did that like you miss like most of Hell e Ramis' yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. jokes because of the pan and scan because those wide shots have all three of them in it and like. The, the gags are all at once in yep. one scene, you know? Like when they come into the Cedric Hotel is or, the one I always think of. Or I, when they're walking down the street after the mortgage. Yes, or the big one for me was I, when I, fr I remember vividly popping it in and then the scene in, when they walk into the library for the first yes, time. Yes, yes. And I'm being like, oh my God, there's like a whole gag there that you totally miss oh, when you yeah, watch it yeah. in 4-3. Um, but yeah, so, so Ecto Cooler. Um... Love the cartoon. I love love Ghostbusters since forever, since yeah. I can remember. Again, it's my favorite movie. The first interaction, or the maybe not the first interaction, but like a very fond memory I have of Ecto Cooler was second grade, and we used to have Halloween parties, and one of the moms, you know, how like your mom or your dad or whomever used to come to like the the party, the, the sure, school parties, sure. and bring and chaperone and bring like. Treats and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Um, this one girl, Megan's mom, would bring this big black cauldron, like the candy cauldrons. Oh, that's cool. And would get like the because this because folks, you know, I'm sure you older folks know or like people that are our age. Uh, extra cool used to come in the big cans, the high oh, C yeah, like yeah, metal yeah, cans yeah. that were like like a yeah. quart. You're right. Yeah. Oh my god, I completely forgot it. It's, yeah. it's coming back to me as you're saying it, but I forgot about that. Oh my god. So, so she would bring like four or five of those and just crack them and just fill this whole cauldron with ecto oh cooler. So it was like the punch for the That's party. Incredible. Oh man, and that was the same year that I was uh, reptile. 
The oh, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, remember that? You posted that last if you, uh, if you trick go, or trash. Yeah, if you go back on the Instagram and check out our trick or trash post from last year, or, or not, no, when we did the Mortal Kombat episode for oh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Super Combat Fighter Double Dumpster Edition Turbo, um, right. I posted those, but it was for Halloween in that year. I remember specifically having, you know, Ecto Cooler at that party, and I'm sure we had it years after that. Um, and, I mean, these were the things that were always stocked in the house because. I love Ghostbusters so much, and I'm sure they were in Sean's house too. This is what you, you know. You get that cartoon going. You go into the gr you go into the uh, the garage. I was gonna say you go into the fridge. Grab grab uh, one of these boys. You sit down with your <laughs> real Ghostbusters color forms and the and the and the cartoon, and you are ready to go. You're ready to believe you, them. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't have any distinct memories of my first time like you do. But now that you're mentioning the can, I definitely remember my mom cracking that can open all the time, making a, getting it in the pitcher. Oh, yeah, yeah, especially yeah. Especially in the summer. I do remember often bringing these with my lunch uh, for school oh, in yeah. elementary school. Maybe I, I feel like I, it, it wasn't a thing once I hit middle school, but definitely when I was in elementary school, I always had the ecto core. And I don't, I don't even think I cared that it was Ghostbusters, even though I love Ghostbusters. It was more so just the flavor I really liked. It's also because Slimer was well, on it, dude. of course, of course. I mean, we all love Slimer to yeah. a certain extent. Especially as kids. As kids, which was kind of the point. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, I still love that little spud, <laughs> but I think I like the, the characters a little more now. Sure. But, hell, you know, just sit there thinking about drinking that. that You'd suck on that thing till you got every dang drop oh. out of it. And, I, I mean, that's the most I remember, just always For drinking sure. them with my lunch at... at uh, in probably preschool and uh, elementary school. I would have to say, like, I, I I can remember having them, like, as far back as I can actually remember. Yeah, that sounds about right. Which is right. pretty nuts. Um, yeah. So, reminiscing on those wonderful <laughs> memories, um, here we are in 2021. Yes. Ghostbusters Afterlife is upon us. It comes out, as for the, the recording of this, it comes out today, the 19th. Pretty crazy. It's pretty nuts <laughs> that we're sitting here and we got another Ghostbusters movie. Um, and with it comes Ecto Cooler. Yes. Now, we were super psyched because we're like, oh man, we have Ghostbusters Afterlife coming back. We have uh, we have Jason Reitman coming, coming to direct it. We have the original Ghostbusters back in the film. Uh, how could they not release Ecto Cooler again? They did it for 2016. They should go nuts, right? There should be Twinkies and 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 cereal and and and. Uh, well, they did do the cereal. They, they did, did do the cereal. The cereal back. Check it out on the YouTube channel. We did a fresh picks yes. of that Ghostbusters Afterlife cereal. I liked it. It was fine. I thought it was good. Okay. Um, I, I definitely prefer a uh, blueberry, <laughs> but uh, that's nor here nor there. This is this is true. It, I think my problem with it was that it was a little bit too much like the Pokemon and Space Jam cereals. It's basically the same thing. Anyway, go check it Fair out. Fair enough. Go go watch that uh, uh, fresh picks. Um, now High C releases Ecto Cooler, and we're like, yeah, it's coming. It's gonna be in like these Gatorade bottles. Oh, yeah. The original logos on it with Slimer holding up the the High C logo, and we're like, oh man, they're gonna have it in theaters, right? And we were like, oh man, because they did remember the cans. Yeah. They did that with the cans. So I was like, okay, maybe that we're not gonna get a full. Uh, juice box release, but hey, when we go to the theater, we're gonna we're gonna grab a couple of those Gatorade sized bottles of Ecto Cooler. It's gonna be great. We're gonna be sipping on them in the theater. Um, turns out that's not the case. Yeah, I also feel like I just misunderstood what they were promoting. But hey, I, I if that's how they want to handle it, it's up to them. My wife said the same exact thing. She said she said, oh, it's only in theaters. And then I'm like, oh, well, is that the, does that mean the movie or does that mean the Ecto Cooler? And then we were like, oh, I hope it's the Ecto Cooler too. Um, it's not. So what's happening now is I'm sure you've all seen it. I'm sure you're all, all of you are trying to get your hands on some and have High C send you some. Um, so you could drink it while you watch the movie. So you can drink it while you watch yeah. the movie. I mean, even we're, we'll see the movie before they get it to us. If they're going to send us any, which I don't, hopefully let's say, let's hope that's the case. Uh, but even if we get it after, I'm going to be super, super happy. Oh yeah. Um, if we do, there definitely will be a follow up oh, in some oh, capacity. Without a doubt. Um, so the only way you can get it is if they choose to slime you through social media. So you tag them, put it in your story, share their posts, um, all that kind of stuff. Tag Ghostbusters, tag yourself at the theater, watching Ghostbusters, what have you. A bunch of people have, have already gotten it. It's really neat. It comes in this uh, uh, flight suit or, or it looks like a flight suit. I, it is, it's either a flight suit or like a, a trap case that opens up. Oh, yeah. and there's a bottle of Ecto Cooler, which is the coolest thing ever. Um, really awesome. Um, and yeah, that's the only way you can get it. So hopefully, um, 
High C will be so inclined to send uh, us some fresh, a fresh batch of Ecto Cooler, uh, since we are going to take this unopened uh, batch of, of 2016 Ecto Cooler, and uh, we're gonna drink some. I, I also want to note that I, I've been staring at this the entire time. You may have seen me look down at it a few times. <laughs> Expiration date, February 2017. So, I don't know what's going to happen. We have our uh, chasers. So, yeah. uh, you know, it's obviously uh, an alcoholic beverage. Don't overthink it. Yeah, it's all right. Just just go with it. Yeah. Um, the Goza worshippers, Goza came, and uh, the Traveler had come. We chose the form of the Destructor, and it was... This pack of icy of, of expired from... ecto cooler. <laughs> of expired ecto cooler. Uh, let's see what the rating is on this. Let's, let's see what's cooking here. Any activity on this or sounds radioactive? Oh, oh boy, is that a Giga counter or a PKE? Meter? That doesn't sound good. Oh, yes, have some. I guess I guess we're gonna see what's cooking. So. um... Without further ado, we're ready to drink this. Here's, Please help. Here is yours. Here is mine. Wow! It comes out of the packaging, and it's like, it's faded! I don't know how well you can see that on here. Uh, I couldn't really tell when it was inside the plastic, but as soon as you took it out, I'm like, that is not the right green. <laughs> <laughs> At least I don't okay. think so. I think it might be the lights in here. Uh, okay, that's possible too. I so, did in the past think a t-shirt was glow in the dark because of the lighting. So as <laughs> dispose of properly. Yeah, into the ecto containment unit and yeah. when the light is green, the trap is clean. But what I'd really like to do is pop a straw on this, but that's not what we're going to do because we want you guys to see what this stuff oh, looks okay. like. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this open. You're really uh, putting a lot of faith in someone that is a total clutch. Uh, okay. I'll do it for you. Okay. Let's just, here we go. Ooh, a little spurt. I got slimed. Oh, that is, that is, that is brown. <laughs> that is brown. <laughs> Just looking at it. Um, oh my, what did I sign dude, up for? It is brown. There's I, like stuff floating in it. I don't want to smell it. Usually I would smell the drink, but I think I'm good this time. It smells fine. Fine, let me smell it. Oh yeah, it does. Actually. It doesn't, it smells. Well, it's starting to, it's starting to clear out. Uh, I, I don't know not. about that. All right, do you can do, see the sediment in there? <laughs> Do mine, you please. You can see this sediment. All right, let's crack this other boy open. Let's see if there's a uh, another distinctive uh, bouquet and color coloration on this we, one. We need someone off on the uh, side, Beetlejuice, somebody playing the funeral uh, anthem. <laughs> well, that's a brown boy, too. I can just feel my lunch coming up out of my throat, and I haven't even drank it yet. Oh, uh, what do we got? Same, <laughs> same color for you there, bud. Yay. Here, here you go. I agreed to this. And again. It's all, uh, all in good fun, right? Multiple reasons why we're doing this video. A, we promised our fans specifically. And, and each other, honestly. I mean, we've eaten some weird stuff over the years. Yeah. Just like, uh, you know, on our own time. Joe, Joe uh, made some 100-year-old uh, eggs one time that we gobbled oh, down. Yeah. I've had pig's uh, feet with Joe. Yep. It's kind of a weird tradition. I like it. I like that we, I like, have we haven't that, done that, it in a that while. That we have that thing. We haven't done it in a while, and now it's Ghostbusters themed. Uh, and we're sharing it with all you guys. We're, we're holding. Um, we're holding ourselves to to the commitment to to you guys. And uh, I guess any new watchers who are, who are watching. And uh, again, high C. Do us a solid and send us some a fresh batch, please, so we can so we can sip on it and enjoy enjoy the good stuff. Uh, yeah. And I promise, if you send us some, we won't drink it another what? Oh my god. Six or seven, or ten years. Yeah, from we'll now? drink it when we get it. I you know I'm not waiting until it turns uh, the color came out of me earlier. Sewage. All right. Uh, cheers. cheers. Here we go. Down the hatch.
You know what, actually? <laughs> it tastes fine. <laughs> the aftertaste <laughs> is killer, though. Um, Going down, it actually wasn't bad. I still taste the tangerine, like, big time. Like, it doesn't taste, like, fetid. It tastes like, um... I, oh, you know man. what's you know it's more like I, mm, it's more like psychological <laughs> I that think. aftertaste it's more psychological to me let's see if we can we can do this uh, i'm going to try to do the whole glass yeah <laughs> oh my god the champ over yeah. here all right well here you go <sighs> And, well, uh, uh, and there it is. Oh my God. Yeah. You know, I said it wasn't that bad on that first sip, but oh my God, I was disgusting. Mm. It was still sweet. It wasn't boozy. Like it didn't, it didn't uh, ferment, I guess. I know that happens sometimes to, to sugary drinks if they're left for a long time. Mine tasted like it was fermented. No. Um, I mean, I guess if I start like falling over drunk, then we then we'll, we'll know one way or the other. <laughs> we shot a whole juice box. Um, it, it, it still had its tangerine flavor though. Like, yeah, big time. but it also had like almost like an apple juice cinnamon flavor, which yeah. I think is maybe because it's been sitting <laughs> there for five years. <laughs> There's a tang on the end for yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh ate my the god. The mandarin. Mm. Um, we did it. Uh, so there it is, and hopefully. Uh, we don't get sick in about an hour. Um, I'm sure it's fine, especially since I need to drive. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure we'll be fine. But uh, but yeah, that was our our, our 2016 uh, ecto cooler uh, uh, drinking. I, I'm taste test. Whatever as you as call much it. as I'm saying how nasty it was and all that jazz, I'm very happy we finally did it. Yeah. It's been a long time coming. It's been. Predating even this show, honestly. Yes. We didn't even know it yet. We didn't even know it, but uh, but yeah. So the new Ghostbusters Afterlife is out. We've we, we've committed. We've done it. And uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we still got a lot of great stuff coming up for our Ghost Giving, our Ghostbusters Month. We got our, our watch along of Ghostbusters 2 coming up on Saturday. Saturday at 8 p.m., 5 p.m. PST, 8 p.m. EST. Uh, then next week we got some real Ghostbusters episodes coming at you, some mini-sodes. Those will also be public. Um, and then we got Ghostbusters 2016, a full-length commentary track exclusively for Patreon. Um, and if you jump over to that Patreon now, you can even check out uh, the replay of our first Ghostbusters watch along, Ghostbusters 1984. Yeah. yeah. And then, of course, uh, the Ghostbusters Afterlife uh, review will be yes. coming soon, a uh, ripe review. Yep. A, a lot riper than whatever we just drank. Oh, this is ripe for sure. <laughs> uh, some kind of ripe. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Conjuring 3 ripe. Oh, yeah. So thanks for watching. And again, hi C, if you're watching, do us a solid. Send us some of those Ecto Cooler Gatorade bottles because we really want to try some of that new batch. Um, yeah, but we hope you enjoyed. And uh, we will catch you. Well, I, hey, we'll see you on the other side, Ray. Speaking of solid, I don't think my bowel movement's going to be solid. Total protonic reversal.